Chuck. Yeah. I've come to shed some more light on that which is mysterious in this world. Yes, yes. The stuff you thought you knew, but you didn't That's know. That's what you thought you knew. So I just thought I'd talk about Sonic Booms. Okay. What do you think uh, of that? I, l- I love that. I Nobody love... doesn't love a Sonic Boom. Nobody doesn't yeah, love that, a Sonic Yeah, it's boom. one of the best, most popular video games. That's Sonic. <laughs> That's Sonic. Okay. That's Sonic. I tell you, that hedgehog, he is something else. <laughs> right. So we can talk about Sonic Boom. So here you go. Ready? So let's take an airplane. That's a good, good choice here. Okay. And generally... Airplanes make noise. And so you'll hear the noise and you'll look up and you see the plane coming. Right. And then receding. All right. The fact that you heard the plane and looked up and then you see it approaching Mm -hmm. means the sound got to you ahead of the plane. Okay, yes. Right? The plane okay. is not where you are yet. It's it's down it's down it's down the down the road a bit, right? That's true. So you hear it. So the sound is going at the speed of sound, and right. in regular air, they call it seven hundred miles an hour. Some it's around there. Okay? Seven hundred miles. Right. Seven hundred miles an hour. And, and the plane is still in like what four something? Yeah, five. five something? With frames five, five hundred miles an hour. Five so something. the sound is emanating in front of the plane relative to the plane at 200 miles an hour. Nice. Okay? All right. right. Not a problem. No. But this is very easy. We can. This is not a hard to understand. All right. So let's ask the question. Because, by the way, the 700 miles an hour is the speed of sound in air. Right. In typical sort of sea level type air. All right. That's the speed of sound. Now, suppose the plane flew a little faster. Let's let it go 600 miles an hour. Okay. All right. Well, the sound going in front of it is now moving in front at only 100 miles an hour faster. Right. Because it's it's not going to increase because it's the speed of sound. Sound in air. In okay. air. Okay. Right. Okay. So what that means is the plane will be a little closer to you before you notice yeah. that it's there. Right. Okay. Because it didn't get it. It didn't have a chance to get too far ahead. All right. Because right. the plane is like right, right coming up behind it. But it's still... Moving away from it at 100 miles an hour. That's still pretty right. fast. Okay. That's that's fast. How about 650 miles an hour? So now, so wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Now it's only, okay, how about 680 miles an hour? Mm. 690. Wait a minute. What happens if you go 700 miles an hour? What happens to the sound you're trying to emit in front of you? Well, you well, can't admit it's right with you. It's right with you. It, can't it put is it right with you. So here's the sound you're trying to push forward, and it's moving forward at 700 miles an hour, but so are you. Right. So that plane approaches you. You don't even know it's there. You don't even know to turn around and notice it. Right. Until it is directly overhead. And then the sound from the, the 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 sound hits you, and the light from the plane hits you, and there you are. You say, "Oh, there's a plane overhead." Right. Well, it's right there above you. All right. Well, right. Let's keep going. Let's 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 not stop there. Now have a go. Seven hundred fifty miles an hour, eight hundred miles an hour. Oh, by the way, we have words for this. If you go the speed of sound, Mach one. Nice. So now you have punched through this quote, sound barrier. It's not really a barrier, but we used to think it was one. You punch through, and now the sound lags behind. Right. All right, so now the faster you go beyond Mach 1, Mach 2 would be how fast? Twice the speed of sound. Twice the speed of sound. So 1,400, 1,500. If you go twice as fast, then you are leaving the sound behind you. Right. And all the sound that you are making is now snow plowed into this cone that comes out away from your vessel. So it's like your plane made a wake of nothing that is being filled with the sound that you left behind. Correct. And on the edge of that is all the sound that would have spread out through space ahead of you. And now it's all compressed behind you oh and so now that plane flies overhead you don't know it's there right as a Be- matter of fact you won't know it's there because it did it didn't make a sound it didn't it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
brilliant, Chuck. I'm glad you're a, fa- you're a fast study there. Yeah. So, so there it is, directly overhead. You don't even know to look up, right? Be- and, and it and it goes because it's well ahead of the sound it's making. So where's the sound it's making? Well, it's way behind, and it's all been snow plowed into this wall of sound moving forward at the speed of sound. Wow. So the plane is now downstream from you. And you say, hmm, that's odd. That didn't make a sound. Bam! The sonic wow. boom hits you. It's, oh, it's all the, it's like the, the, like the big ball of sound. It's a wall of sound. It's a wall of sound. It's compressed because the plane left it behind. And all the sound that it would have made that you would have heard ahead of it is now all behind it in a wall. And it all got plowed into itself. That, as it passes over you, is a sonic boom. Oh, man. And the higher up the plane is, the more delayed that is the sonic boom. You'll come up here, sonic boom, look up, where's the plane? It was way down, way downstream. Now, so turns out anything that goes faster than sound will make a sonic boom. Okay. So uh, it turns out a whip, the crack of a whip, is the tip of the whip moving faster than the speed of sound. Oh, sweet. It's a mini sonic boom. We used to do in the locker room, you get a, like a rat tail, oh, with, a, the, a rat tail with a towel. Yeah. With a towel. So the, the sonic boom comes about. So the, 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 the material, this would be true with a whip of, as well, as it flings forward and you, you start retracting it before it fully flings forward. And the rapid change of direction there is the thing moving just faster than the speed of sound and you hear a crack. It's very small. It's a sonic crack, I guess, <laughs> not a sonic boom. So, so that's what a sonic boom is. And I love me some sonic booms, but um, we, you know, we had the, the no, we did. We've never had a commercial, a commercial supersonic plane in the United States, but Europe no. did, and you know what that yeah. was? Uh, that French plane. The French plane. Yeah, the Concord SST. The Concord, yes. Le Concord. Yes. And that was a collaboration, I think, with England. And so it would fly to London and to Paris to New York. But we didn't have one of those planes. Right. We didn't have... We, so how are we going to compete with that? Here's what we do. We say, we don't like sonic booms over our residences. So if you want to fly your plane over continental United States, you have to fly subsonic. Well, what the point? what's the point of that? Right. Okay, so you didn't have these planes going to L.A. They all went to New York, basically. Right. And uh, and it would have been great if we can all fly supersonically. So the concern was you're having a nice peaceful afternoon, a picnic, and then sonic booms are just coming across. I think the novelty would probably wear off quickly is right. my sense of this. Yeah. Now, a, a quick little story before we end. There's the Salisbury Cathedral. This I, I think this is a true story. Um, I read about it long ago, but I haven't seen more written about it, so I don't know. Maybe it's apocryphal. The Salisbury Cathedral, one of the oldest cathedrals in the world, Mm -hmm. has one of the oldest clocks in the world. And I visited that when I visited Stonehenge when I was a kid because the Stonehenge is in the Salisbury Plains Mm -hmm. of southwest England. So anyhow, the Royal Air Force, it's a very underpopulated area. So the Royal Air Force was doing maneuvers there and there were sonic booms that they were making all the time. Conservatives were worried, conservators were worried that these sonic booms would jiggle the cathedral and and damage it. Okay. So we got some acoustic engineers that did some measurements and sure enough, there's serious sonic boom energy coming into the cathedral and then someone said, gee, I wonder how much vibration comes from lower C on their organ, <laughs> on their pipe organ. So they tested the low notes on the pipe organ, and it was more energetic than the sonic the booms sonic coming boom. across the thing. So that was the end of that conversation right there. Okay. Now, it so. could be apocryphal, but it's a fun story. What it means is just in general, if you think something is causing something, look for anything else that could swamp that effect. And if you find something that does, then formulate another question. So now, when the sonic boom of a meteor coming into uh, our atmosphere... Yeah, that's why you'll never know. The people say, oh, look, here it comes. No, you don't, you don't know until it's too late, until it already hits. So is it the boom that is breaking windows, or is it the movement of air itself? Because it just... It's the same thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. It's a shockwave. It's still a shockwave. It's a shockwave. That's correct. Wow. And oh you know something God. else? You know something uh-huh. else? This is what? really cool. Okay, okay. 
Uh, you know, the speed of light drops when it goes into transparent solid materials. So speed right. of light is lower in glass. It's even lower in diamond. Right. Uh, okay. Now, suppose you have a particle that you send through that material that goes faster than the speed of light. Because you can do that. There's no rule against it. All right. Right. So it's not my fault the light is slow. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that's not my fault. I'm obeying Einstein. I don't care that we're in glass or in diamond or in water. Okay. So it turns out when particles do that, they make a kind of sonic boom of their own, but it's not sonic. It's light. A light boom. Yeah, it's a light boom. Oh. It's a light it's, boom. Well, that sounds delightful. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a similar phenomenon, but it's happening sort of electromagnetically. And it, it and it emits its own kind of radiation for having done so. So it's a, it's a gen, it's a more general phenomenon and a, and a principle. Shock waves. It's all part of the same discussion of going faster than the medium wants you to go. And nice. there you have it. That's very cool. Well, you know, a light boom. You know, and production is a stand that you hang a light on. Oh, <laughs> Which, <laughs> I guess so. That's, yeah. that's a, real, a really boring version of I know, the definition I, of the I, word. I was going to say, that, like, your light booms are way better <laughs> than mine. Way cooler than the way cooler. sound guy's boom. <laughs> right. right, right, right. Okay, so that, that's about it. I'm just talking, Yo. talking Yo, sound. Yo, I'm, I'm all about it, man. That was really cool. Like, sonic booms. All right, dude. All right, uh, man. This has been Star Talk Explainer. We'll catch you looking up. 